Wow, this is stunning. This is what Japan has been missing. <laughs> I'm going back to Australia. Chris and I uh, were looking for some spring water along the way to like fill like our big water bottle and so we just searched on Google Wakimizu which is spring water and then sometimes they have you know like a spring water fountain where anyone could just come around and like fill up their water bottles if they want to. This place isn't really like that, it, <laughs> no one's really like filling up water bottles but there's like a couple of little like shrines and temples along here so, like this whole town, this is the most like beautiful water, it's so clear and stunning and there's like a lovely little like Japanese garden over there with a the little bridge. Such a lovely little town that we wouldn't have otherwise stopped in if we weren't looking for spring water. How nice. So I am now at, it's a vegan market that's actually organized by a really close friend of mine and it's called Earth Rhythm Market and there's a new market like every month or so. Um, so if you go check out the Instagram, there's like heaps of markets happening all the time, usually around Osaka but like sometimes in Tokyo. Um, and this one is at, the music is so loud, and this one is at a place called Tugboat Taisho, which is a really nice area. Um, and yeah, this is one of the smaller markets though. <gasps> Fuck, that seat is so hot! Oh my god! No, I don't want to. I'm not going to take it, I promise. <laughs> this isn't my dog. His name is Andy. Um, I'm just dog sitting him for a couple of days um, while his owners are away. And he's, <laughs> he's in a growly mood right now, but he's such a cute little cuddly boy. <laughs> he's a cute little cuddly toy poodle and he's an old man and he loves his little purple chew toy. Good boy. <laughs> You ready? Are you ready, Andy? You know what it is. Come on, sit. No, 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 not yet. No, not yet. Ready? Shake, shake, jump, bang, 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 bang. You gotta lie down fully. Bang, 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 bang. Good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just like having Andy around because uh makes this place feel a little less lonely when I'm all by myself just editing for hours on end. He's a nice little editing companion. Aren't you? Aren't you? Yes you are, because I'm all alone. I'm all alone by myself going crazy. Yes. 
I don't even see sunlight. <laughs> So, my friend just told me that a Burger King just opened up at a place. I don't know if it's always been there or if there's other Burger Kings in Osaka, but I haven't heard of this before. But apparently they've got some Impossible Burgers in a Whopper. And I'm so excited. Oh yeah. Let's just hope they don't see the doll. <gasps> I can get a Heineken here. I can get a beer at Burger King. <laughs> Yes. Actually, true. That's kind of strange now that I think of it. Mm. Oh, it's such a good size. Mm. Can we do it? Mm. Isn't that good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Holy shit, that's really good. That's like smoky. Yeah. Wow. Oh, damn. That's dangerous. It's very dangerous. Come here way more often. Damn. This is what Japan has been missing. Good vegan junk food. Holy shit. Wow. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you want some. I'm sorry, Indy. There's no food for you. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co, which are both snack box subscriptions and they are filled with up to 20 Japanese snacks, like snacks that you can only find in Japan. Tokyo Treat is up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks, whereas Sakura Co, which is up to 20 traditional and authentic artisan Japanese snack items, including Japanese teas and one special Japanese tableware for your box every month. Sakura Co also partners with local artisan Japanese snack makers. Uh, I haven't opened either of these boxes yet, but I'm very much looking forward to it uh, because it is summer season. Tokyo Treat has got Sugoi Summer and Sakura Ko is called Okinawa Retreat. And I'm really looking forward to having some of these snacks today. If you're worried about not knowing what the ingredients are, every box has a 24 page cultural guide booklet in which they explain every snack that's included in the box as well as like allergen information and ingredients and that kind of thing. But it also shows you little tidbits of Japanese culture and the way people like to enjoy these snacks. Hmm? My mouth is watering. I know, so excited. I want to try this one. Watermelon seed candy. <laughs> oh yeah. Mmm, whoa. Watermelon flavor, they're like Skittles. Oh yeah. Mm. No, they're not. <laughs> the, <laughs> sorry. The outside is like Skittles, the inside is the namune. Like, it's like a chalky kind of lolly. Mmm, <coughs> yum. Oh, that's so good. Because <laughs> it's just dieting. <laughs> This one, Okinawan cinnamon cookie. Hell yeah. Ah, the cookie. Don't drop it and just gonna eat it. Is it crumb? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh wow. Whoa. It tastes like shortbread cookies that like my mom would always make. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's so good. So if you if you would like to get a taste of if you'd like to get a taste of Japan in your own home, then please go to the link in the description for either Tokyo Treat or Sakura Co. You can get $5 off your first order if you use my link. So thank you so much to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co for sponsoring this video and for sending us all of these delicious snacks because we love a sponsor that feeds us. Yay, snacks. Ah, oh, snacks. Oh, I love snacks. Ooh, I went through a full-blown obsession with Umai Bowl. <laughs> I don't know, like maybe five years ago. It got to a point where I had to actually just cut myself off from them cold turkey because I was eating them too much. It's dangerous. I don't know if I should try it, you know. <laughs> this is like offering cocaine to a, a drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't talk about drug addicts in this place. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can I smell it? <laughs> Spoken like a true drug addict. <laughs> <True addicts. laughs> oh! <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> oh shit. Are you crying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a really serious reaction with that. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a real addiction. <laughs> so I finally have my flights booked and I'm going back to Australia. Yay! I'm so excited. I haven't I haven't been home since like the start of the pandemic, so that's like two and a half years now. And I haven't seen my family in that long and there's a whole a whole ass nephew that I haven't even met yet because he was born like a couple of weeks after I left. I'm not entirely sure how long I'll be home for um, because I've got a few other things going on, but I've got a trip to Taiwan actually planned in September. That'll be for... Um, that's like for a sponsored trip, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm gonna be doing some hiking and sightseeing and I'm really looking forward to it. I've only been to Taiwan for like a weekend, like just one weekend before, but um, yeah, this time I'll be able to go for a lot longer, which is really nice. I'll, I'll have to explain more about like the, the trip back to Australia in a separate video, because it's a whole, a whole other thing. It's winter right now, although I'm from Brisbane, so it's not really winter. It's kind of like, it's like Japanese spring. And then I'm gonna go to Taiwan, which will be hiking, and it's gonna be really, really hot. But then it might be also very cold at the top. <laughs> I don't know, uh, so I'm gonna be bringing a wide variety of things. I've got 30 kilos, check baggage, and then seven kilos carry on. I'm leaving in like two weeks time. And before I go, I'm gonna try and like get as much content around Japan as I can. So I've got things to edit when I'm back in Australia because I don't think I'll be making too many videos actually there. So much to do in the next two weeks. Everything feels very like hectic again. Ah! But also so excited, yay. <laughs> Where I started buying souvenirs for back home. <laughs> I was wondering like, what could be a good souvenir to take to everyone? Like trying to think of individual needs and dietary requirements and stuff. And then I was like, hold on a second. Everyone loves Family Mart socks. <laughs> so everyone's getting Family Mart socks. <laughs> My nephews are also getting little like toy trucks. <laughs> early in the morning because we actually managed to get a campsite. Oh, there's a cool bridge down here. Yeah. So we found a campsite last night that is so beautiful. And we could drive the Jeep like basically onto the sand, but that will be in a separate video. The video is probably already out. I don't know. We're now kind of on the edge of Gifu Prefecture, almost in Nagano. And we're going to a waterfall that we've had pinned only recently. Looks really beautiful. The weather is lovely. My arm's getting tired from holding the camera. This is like amazing, like the way all of the little bridges and stairs are built around the waterfall so beautiful it like makes it it enhances the beauty it's really really nice arrived I don't know why I said it like that we've now arrived at one of like the most beautiful valleys 
um, that I've ever seen in Japan. It's called Aterra Valley, Aterra Valley. And the last time I came here, it was kind of off season. I think it was like just, it was like just after the end of summer. Um, so we could still drive the car up here and just kind of stop wherever. But I guess during like peak summer season, there's lots of people coming in, so you have to catch a, you have to catch a shuttle bus over. That's kind of annoying though, because you could definitely walk up here, but they, they want you to take a shuttle bus. Anyway, we just stopped at the first place and it's absolutely stunning. Oh yeah, this is the spot we're looking for. This is where we stopped off last time. We actually, we went swimming like way down there in like a shallow area. Cause we were like, let's just swim here. And we showed up here and we we're like, damn it, we should just swim here. This is amazing. just everyday life kind of daily vlogs on this channel and um, I, I genuinely enjoy making them and it's fun to have these memories to look back on to later so um, I hope that you enjoyed this one. I actually forgot to say in this video uh, the maroon shirt I'm wearing with my logo on it that is some new merch so it's well, it's the same merch as before but it's now available in a nice maroon color so if you're interested go and check that out currently hannah.com slash merch thank you to the sponsor of this video link in the description thank you to Andy for keeping me company while I edit this and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video I was gonna say in the next time but that doesn't make any sense see you guys next time bye